you know, I did go out in the weekend and folks, we need to be better than we are. I, I saw large groups of people walking in tight, tight bundles. And I know that it feels good because you're in the outdoors, but it's not. You do need to have the social distancing. And it shouldn't take me or it shouldn't take the premier, the mayor, the prime minister to tell you that social distancing is, or, or pardon me, physical distancing is the right thing. Nobody should have to point their fingers at you. With the beautiful uh, weather outside, I know people are feeling cooped up. So what's appropriate? Go to the wide open spaces. Find parks that are lesser used, right? Don't stand close together, uh, you know, standing or talking. Put a bicycle width between you and others. Stand in your driveway and yell to your neighbors in a friendly way, right? Visit loudly, it's okay. You don't need to social distance from trees or plant life, just people. That's why we're leaving our vast park network open. There should be plenty of space for you to have that physical distancing. Enjoy the, youth, the parks, unless you've been told to stay indoors by a doctor. We know how to get in the outdoors and physical distance ourselves, but unfortunately our kids do not. They only know how to play together, and generally playing together means they're gonna be tight together, and they're gonna do their thing. That's what kids do. So we've made a very difficult decision, and I tell you that we've, we've researched it, we've sort of run around trying to find out what is the best practice, but we've made that decision to close the, the playgrounds. The parks will remain open, but the playgrounds specifically will be closed. To those who have taken the right steps and actions, thank you. You are saving lives in making the sacrifices, and that makes you a hero. You, at least you're my hero if you do that. Like, I love it when people do those things. So keep doing what you're doing, and we hope to keep the curve pushed down. To those of you who defy the advice that every level of government has given, uh, and every news channel in the world, frankly, is covering, you are a danger. I, I, I mean that, you're a danger. Your actions right now can impact the health of others. I know no one means intentional harm, but someone's loved ones might become critically ill or even not survive as a result of you being careless. So I, I expect you, I implore you, whatever you want, be responsible and, and make sure you have that physical distancing. And if you've been told by your doctor to stay inside, do so. We must decide which of those two people we're gonna be, the compliant ones or the ones that put others at risk. It's, it's just that, that simple.